Hello and welcome back to Blood and Wine. So last time we had a little bit of fun in the graveyard and this time we've got to go and find, well, using Yennefer's map that she gave us, something. Check the location that she sent us. I'd love to, but where is it on the map? Oh, have I not read the map that she sent me? Is that where we're, we're getting here? Oh no, or we got to use the map. Oh, oh good, it didn't sort it somewhere else. So where's the X? Oh, up top? That little splotch? Hmm. Site marked on the map's all wet now. Saint Retour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Mine once lay. Need to explore. Okay, good, it puts it on our map. Oh, it's just there. Location. No problem. No problem. Julie Volacine really, really wanted that little panther. Oh. Alright. Oh, head out this way. Perfect. Alright. A knight. I kind of like it around right Tucson. And it Got that kind of, got that kind of green, kind of that greenish blue glow to the sky, yeah. that turquoise, I guess. Yeah, yeah, but it's very nice, very picturesque. Anyway, enough about that. Let's head this way. Roach, roach, please. Got very trapped there. Okay, picturesque. That over there. Slower. Oh no, it's it's just a house. I was like, is that fire and stuff around the building? No, it's just a normal house. Okay. Head down this way towards the water. Right, so it should be just through the sunflowers here. Also, I like how all the Kami music's gone now, it's just very eerie. Yeah, it's got that sense of foreboding. Like you're not meant to be here. Okay. Come on now. Hey fisherman. What's up? What's going on there? What's the hurry? I don't have any hurry, I can wait here with you. What's the hurry? No? Nope. Okay, well, I'll borrow your boat if that's alright. Any objections? No? Alright. Well don't you worry about it. Right. We'll head along here. Nice and peaceful. Apart from the things that are underneath us and are about to come up. I'm just going to stay on here. They should come up and attack our boat and then we can just shoot them. Guess not. Okay, get over here and see if we can swim them to shore. Does not look like that is an option. Okay, well, I'll just dive down. What's the worst that could happen? Nice, got it. that's in here. Okay. We might need to use Killer Whale, but it seems like I found the right entrance, so we're good. Or maybe not. I think I will use Killer Whale. Uh, this one of our potions. It, this one? Yeah. Nice. We can breathe a little longer now down here. A lot of dye, a lot of dye remover. Okay, elven armor stuff, a lot of dye. Locked, okay. Lots of coins. New crossbow, perhaps? Don't get trapped, girl. We gotta leave here. 
It's obviously not the right place unless this guy has a key on him. No, no key. Okay, this guy got a key on him. Greedy to the extreme. Nope, no key. Go up. Geralt. Geralt, go up. I hate Geralt sometimes. Geralt! No! Don't! Don't drown! <sighs> Almost killed by a drowner. Whew. Well. Power. Have that back. Use killer whale again, this time before we go into the water. Can't help but notice we only had three killer whales. Are we out of alcohol? We might be out of alcohol. Which would be very unfortunate. Okay. Looking over here for the entrance. Oh, that'll be it. Portal. Yeah. Yeah, the portal will do. Right. And through we go. Do wherever this leads. Oh! That must be weird, heading through there. Yeah. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Wonder who the grave robber is, because we must like they they are going down a similar path to us. They must be someone we know, right? That's my theory anyway. Another witcher, perhaps? Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll head further in. We got here some copper ore. Getting a lot of ore and things like that. For like different types of weapons. Or like different ore that we didn't get in the main game. I'm wondering whether there's going to be a lot more crafting that needs done. Whether you need this for the new stuff. What's this along here? Implanted spikes. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to head down before we head that way then. I just want to see what's in the bag, really. The bag is glowing red, but yeah, I cannot look at it. We could obviously head that way. We can head further down. Excuse me? All right. Looks like you're running a place so you can just run along. Looks like it's designed. Nope, it is not designed that way. In fact, it's designed to make you fall into a giant pit. Interesting. Interesting. That's just mushrooms I missed, okay. What else we got? We got the ore. We got all of that stuff. Green armor die. Okay. That's obviously not the way you go. Even though that, that bag is red as well, it's not the way you go. Implanted spikes. Sick sense of humor someone's got. Okay. Oh, you know what we could do? Just use Quen. Can't loot that body, can loot this one. That was a bad move. Stand still. Oh, I can leap that one in the middle. Nice. Okay, what's this way then? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Nice. Three, 
two, one, three, two, one. I, mean, I know we got hit by the coin on the way there, but that's fine. We use a swallow. Right, head along down here. See what else we got. Grab that. Oh, I realized the reason why our, uh, what was it called? Killer whale only ha had one less. Or it didn't refresh up. It's because the previous time we refreshed, we did it uh, at our place that gave us one more. Yeah, at our home. Yeah, okay. Makes a lot more sense now. Copper ore. Nice. Hmm? Nope. Thought I'd missed something there. No, oh, guess it just saved for me. Worrying. Oh, okay. Never liked cats. Uh, oh. Okay. Dancing star. Don't know if they like that. That's fine. Keep just dodging around here. Ow. All right. Why did these not activate for the previous person in Grave Robbed? That's my question. Hmm. Right. Either they were dead by this point, which is possible because we see the number of bodies, or they had a way past it. Okay. So, you know, I'm going for Witcher or Sorceress. These are my two guesses. Also, relight all of those. Because our northern wind puts them out. Okay. Hole in the ground. Interesting. I'll have that. Well, this seems like a trap, but okay. Have that. What else have we got along here? Blood moss. Silver Blood and soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers at least. There you go. They they actually, you know, gave it a reason. That's good. But they found a way around it. Okay, so they didn't have like an inherent you know, just like can avoid it kind of thing. Like they weren't a sorcerer, they weren't a witcher who avoided it. They were just a person who was smart. Okay. Interesting. Have that, have that. I mean, they still could be a sorcerer, a witcher, or whatever. But it kind of puts down the chances of it if they're, uh, you know, if they're finding ways around the traps rather than just brute forcing them. Anyway, let's continue on. Ooh, right. Some stuff I missed back here as well. Nice, okay. Then we got Professor Moru's diary. Since certain suspicious individuals have been hanging around outside my laboratory, I've been forced to implement additional security measures. I suspect they are, but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal. And I've no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I've decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass this lock with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First team must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose, then he must find a way to press them. Alright, and then there's the pickaxe. Oh, that's a crossbow, never mind. I guess that's how they plan to press them. As a panther. 
Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the Panthers. Yeah, Geralt. You know how you can climb all that stuff? On you go. Hmm, guess not. Right. Oh, crap. Didn't I just do this? Uh, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Nice. We've got some damage down. Nice. Okay, turns out using the Thunderbolt potion hit makes that a lot quicker, huh? Right. A little quick save. So they managed to get all the way around the walls. To avoid all that sort of stuff. Interesting. And that's a portal out, I guess? Okay. A lot of die remover in here. And a lot of dies. That must be how they got down. Don't know if that's how we're getting down. Grab the loot. Oh wait, okay. Course. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow maybe? Could try to hit them. Oh, it gave me the crossbow so that... Okay. He said he could cast a simple spell as well. Nope. Thought I'd check. That's why he gave you the crossbow. Just in case you didn't have one by this point. Alright, now I'm feeling stupid because I can't see the last one. One, two, three, let's be on this wall, right? Not bad. Wouldn't mind having something like that myself. You have something like that. You could just do it. Hmm? Maybe it's like underneath or something like that? I'm sure it must be over there, like over this way. I'm blind. Oh, it's on this wall again. Okay. Ha, did it. Yep. Um, kind of what I was thinking there. Okay. Hmm. Interesting as places go. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. Oh no. Gargoyle sure don't look willing to help. Gargoyle's Gargoyle look sure don't look willing to help. I'm back to guest. Intruder. Uh, gargoyles are, as everyone knows, gargoyles are definitely some sort of really no 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 that's stupid necro no. Uh, close that one. Vampire. No. Um, Ogroid? Gargoyles are not an Ogroid. They're not a relic. What the? Elementia, right? Yeah. Okay. Vulnerable against Elementia or Dimitarium bombs. Right. Uh, bomb Dimitarium. Uh, probably just Grape Shot. Uh, wait, do we have two sets of the materium? Oh, it's Devil's Puffball. Alright, of course. It's a different one. Elementia oil, apply. Uh, and, um... I don't even know. Let's just Thunderbolt. You are not welcome. Yeah, figured as much. What's this one? Oh, because I read the whites... <laughs> Mystery entry, I advanced that quest. Oh, okay. Not what I meant to do. But okay. Back to this quest. Damn. I was not also was not what I meant to do. Okay. Grape shot. Well, this certainly changed how I did it from when I was on the uh, full sword build.
also repair the sword. Uh, as a matter of urgency. Alright, grab the loot. Gargoyle's paw. Okay. It's a quest item, apparently. Do I need to place it somewhere? Yeah, okay. That then allows you to pass. Great. Portals. This just keeps getting better. That's the way we came in, right? This portal's got to take me up there, right? Damn it. Back where I started. Left? Damn it. Back where I started. Behind me? Damn it. Wrong again. Could be some clue around here. So all portals take you... Oh, no, never mind. I was starting from a different place. So left on this one. I went through the same portal twice. There might be a clue around here as well. I quite like the sound of. No. No clues. It must be this one. Yeah, okay. Alright. Now to find the next portal. This one. Back Damn it. Downstairs. Back where I started. Okay. No, that's the wrong portal. This Damn portal. It. Back where I started. Okay. Now I've done that. Alright, now to find the next portal. Is this one? Nope. Statues seem oddly oriented, as if to all face in one direction. The right portal, maybe? Oh. Alright. Well, you know, I didn't want to figure out the puzzle myself, girl, but thanks for your input. Real appreciate it. Uh, so the right portal is actually at the other side here. All right, now to find the next, next portal. portal. I got it, girl. I got it. Fortunately, it's hard to get to the next portal because there's no direct path there. You see? Oh, unless we. Oh. Oh, we're in a different area entirely, actually. Oh, interesting. Uh, head over here. Right. And then this portal right. has been here. Find the next portal. Well, which way is the statue facing? It's facing that way, so it's that portal at the top. Right. Head up and around. That's a cool looking area, but it's this portal, right? I think it is anyway. Yeah. Must be where Moreau had his lab. There's still the grave robber who we don't know where they went, and they definitely made it this far. Hmm. Okay. I think you can hear them back there. Or is that us? Oh, that was cool. I like that. I mean, those were stairs, but okay. A megascope. Newly set up. Just need to pick an entry. First entry. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor. One greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken. For it relates to me personally. To myself and my son. When fifteen years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the Witcher's my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, 
I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Okay. So, Professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations, wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed, and if there's anything in it for me. Third entry? Observation number 30. The mutations do not set in at once. Curiously, they do not develop over a span of time. Rather, for a mutation to progress towards completion, the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the glass terrarium, the eggs do not develop. Remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated, they are luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumin will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. All right, number five. We missed how he did it, and I guess we're going to miss what the outcome of it is, as in what, what, what the middle part is, and then we're just going to see what the actual end result is. I imagine it might be him dying. Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice, all for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism, that which I meant to restore to him a normal life, only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. So I'm gonna guess the person the grave robber hmm. was Jerome. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. Alright. And we have no crystal for the other ones. Crystal for this entry's missing. Okay. Summarize. So Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them though. Used the albumens of giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Okay. I, I want to find the missing crystals as well. Those are some crystals. There's the megascope, or whatever there it is now. Uh, there's this crystal. Okay, so called giant centipedes are my only comfort in exile. Dearly, I have paid my wrongs, being exiled from the beautiful deserts and steeps of Ophir to this hideous green country, where all scents and flavors are so intense they make me sick, fills my heart with sorrow and regret. My only comfort seems to be a small colony of Skolapendros, or more scientifically speaking, Skolapendromorths, here referred to as giant centipedes, living in the vicinity of my hut. These wondrous creatures, the sight of which reminds me of home. I have most likely chosen this have most likely chosen this area to settle in because of the presence of Shelemars, whose droppings constitute the food of smaller animals, which in turn are consumed by 
Golopendros. Sometimes I sneak up on them when they are feeding and admire their hooked limbs, mandibles so sturdy they seem to be made of iron, and chitinous thoraces, shiny enough to let one gaze upon one's reflection. Alright. He is really into, uh, you know, giant centipedes. So, guessing human? this man didn't come here willingly. Yeah, you kind of feel bad for him until you realize that he had kidnapped people for this. Intriguing as machinery goes, but how do I start it up? And do I want to start up something that looks like an Iron Maiden? I don't know, probably not. Just the other crystal. Blue mutagen. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Hmm. Okay. This the way out? That is the way out, okay. Anything else in here? Moreau must have kept his son in here. Grim. Hmm. Got another lesser mutagen trans. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Which are mutations and introduction to research? Before embarking on any consideration of the mutagens undergone by a witcher, let alone researching them, one should be aware of the specific physiolo physiology and biochemistry of these individuals. The transformations they experience during the trials of the grasses, which are widely considered to be irreversible, cause witchers to become infertile, while significantly increasing their physical strength and sharpening their senses. The process also deprives the witchers of emotion and human reflexes. Although information about trial of grasses and other transformations to which young adepts of the witcher craft are subjected to strictly protected by master witchers and witcher sorcerers, Ludwig Celestine of Banard claims the aldermen of grey scolopendromorphs, the strain of giant centipede, more often more commonly known as pale widows, constituting the basis of witcher mutagens. However, all research confirming this theory has been lost. Okay. What's back here? I guess that's where we're going to find our giant centipedes. Okay, let's put in the other two things and see what else we've got from those. We still haven't found the grave robber. That's what's intriguing. Just need to... Second entry. So, Harry started his research. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Okay, so we find out a very, about a very specific mutation then. Okay, and this one? What have we got? Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Let's summarize. Nope. Let's leave. Seen enough. Now well, we still need the giant centipede stuff. Let's head in here, through this area. Where to where I assume the giant centipedes are. Not the one I want to chuck, but we'll try it anyway. Another one. Um, I really want Northern Wind if I can have it. No Northern Wind, huh? Get that one and get that one.
not what I want to do. I want to Quen, but okay. Going for. Well, this is difficult. If we keep jumping underground. Uh, so I want beast oil if I have it. Been a while. Wait. What sword am I using? Silver. Okay. I would like to apply my beast oil. To my silver sword. Okay. Then, let's get our salmon on. Grape shot on. And I want to consume just a quick heal. Uh, it's one of these. White rapids. There we go. A lot of damage we got on one of them. I was hoping that the axe might have helped us there. This is awful. Okay. I hit something with that one. Just annoying. Ow. Got our three hits in. This one's the one that's going to jump up for real this time. There we go. Which one? Not real. Yep. Now it's real. That was real. Nope. Now it's real. that as well. This one's real. Nope. What is that around us? That must be blizzard that I can see. Okay, I need to heal.
right. Put a panic heal down there. Oh, <laughs> oh, great. One more hit. This one's real. Nope, but he's not just back. Nice, we got two of them down to pretty much next time we hit them, they're dead. Hate that. Love that. Right. One of you left now. Sorry, need your eggs. Not sorry. You were a pain to fight. Okay. Where did we come in? Is this the way we came in? That's, so where's the other way take us? Where's... I'm still like, where's the grave robber? Back here. I don't want to fight more of them. No! No, I've made a terrible error in judgment. I mean, I will fight more of them because I'm already here, but I don't want to fight more of them. Come on! You can't physically get that far away from me. Nice. Even if you hit it for zero, it still goes into that mode, huh? It didn't hurt us with that because they're poison. Um, it didn't actually. It can't harm us with poison right now because we got golden oriel on. Okay. Fine. This one's real. Real and it's shooting range packs. Nope. Real and it's just gonna stand there and let us go. Okay. Got another one. I guess. What's up here? Way back in here. Alright. I'm glad we did that. Wait, I already acquired it, didn't I? Oh my god, I didn't acquire it. Like an idiot, I didn't acquire it. Right. This way? It's all of this I need, right? Yeah. Okay, start the machinery. I was worried it was going to make us fight one more, but we don't need to. Okay. A little bit of a quick save before we uh, do anything that we might regret. 
head around this way, I guess, and start the machinery. Get undressed and activate it. Uh, all right, girl, on you go. Oh, I've got to get girl. I've got to manually get girl undressed. All right, well, he's giving a sword. How do I start to drop my armor? Leave, my... <sighs> Leave his weapons as well. All right. Weapons. And you will question it. Okay, we good? Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Definitely wouldn't tell anyone where you are or what you're doing before you do this, Geralt. It's potentially life-threatening, uh, you know, change of your DNA. Yeah. Okay. So what happened to us? And apart from the we we got like some weird bits on our shoulder. Apart from that, what happened to us? It hasn't really told us yet, huh? Well, let's head out. See what's is that it? What ch what change? We didn't find who who the grave robber is, and we found out nothing more. Um. What 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 changed? Oh, we got this. What is this? Uh, uh, we need to have ability points to reset search mutagens, which will then do something. Uh, okay. Oh, each time you're injured, the attacking the opponent receives damage equal to 1.5% damage dealt of the damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Wait. 1.5% of the damage dealt for every point of your toxicity le- What a very confusing way to write it. Signs can deal critical hits? Oh. Oh. What an interesting new development. I see. I probably should have kept some ability points. Well, I'm going to park our boat over here. Still didn't find out who broke in. This is a point. Hopefully that will be brought up at some point. Maybe we're meant to just know who broke in. I mean, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.